The next thing we invest in Maria a fake product, living a fake life. And the next thing, the consequences are not fake, they're real. It's real. You'd be shocked. So I don't tell us what I'm doing in Right now, where is Saga Fika Gucci? Which book I'm Zupuko? Especially because I'm not eating a gumbero. Chances are I'm watching a jidura. Because one of the Zunu give up certain things, my Judah. Go into your discomfort zone. You grow. What I want you to give up next is your excuses. She is a motivational speaker, he's an author, he is a lawyer, and today's topic is give up. You're right, give up. Good morning. Good morning. How are you, my Judah? Not don't give up, but give up. Yes, because you see, for, for a long time we've been taught not to give up. But I sort of think it's doing harm to many people holding on. That's why I always tell people sometimes our greatest strength in life is not in holding on. It's letting go. That's true. So right now someone is in a toxic relationship. They're holding on to it, making a queer prayer that they will change. They don't change. <laughs> Did you just say queer? Yes, queer, <laughs> weird, <laughs> macabre relationship. Oh. Yeah. And you don't want to give it up. So your strength and your success in life is going to happen the moment you learn to give up certain things. And the question is, what do you give up? You see, if you want to go up, you need to learn to give up. That's why you should learn from a rocket launch. No, it's the whole big package of Roxumunza. But at every stage, it's shedding. It's shedding. Yeah. It's shedding. Until the capsule goes where they want it to go. But you see, Timmy, I can't wonder what Roxumunza is baggage. What Roxumunza is baggage. I booty. That's why I'm going to send message to Nagashkuru. Learn to give up. The question is, what do you give up? And I want to take you through some of the things that I think you need to give up in order for you to take your life forward and to take your life upwards. By the way, we don't have much time, and we're just going to cover a few other things. Then next week, I'll finish some of these things on my Facebook page. The first thing that I want many people to learn to give up is the habit of avoiding discomfort. Mm. The reason why many people are going to live miserable lives because we're so, so obsessed with seeking comfort. And we don't realize that we don't grow anything whilst we're comfortable. We need to get into that realm, that dimension where we begin to understand clearly that it should be normal for us to be operating in the discomfort zone where nothing is really guaranteed, nothing is really secure. But your growth depends on you stepping out from the things that are used to, venture and start engaging things that are not used to, because that's where real growth happens. Right now, you see, life is quite a change until you change the things that you're doing every day. And it means sometimes disrupting your routine, sometimes disrupting the things that have been so used for the past, I don't know how many years. And that's why I always tell people something we call experience is so dangerous. Well, you see, a number of times we repeat the same thing over and over again, and we call it experience. Repetition and experience are two different things. But you see, a number of us were so resting, so okay in the comfort zone, and we're not growing anywhere. And that's why right now, you've been in company for 10 years. You've been doing the same things. Where are you going next? So look about you guys, we need to step out and avoid this habit of avoiding discomfort. Give it up. Learn to step into the discomfort zone. That's where your growth is going to happen. All right. If you're just joining us, we are live streaming on our Facebook page at Star FM Zimbabwe at Star FM Zimbabwe, and to talk to us in the studio, zero seven seven five eight nine seven eight nine seven zero seven seven five eight nine seven eight nine seven. Ask a question. Drop a comment. So we talked about the issue of the comfort zones. We need to learn to give them up. Do something new. Do something that scares you. Itazuvindi. We once did a show over the phone called Itazuvindi. Ukaseta zuvindi. Udo shendro na nezuvindi. That's why I want us people to learn to move out of our comfort zones. Number two, what do I want you to learn to give up? Give up unhealthy habits. People who are successful, these are simply people with successful habits. In other words, when you understand that your life is run by habits, we need to do a review 
of our habits. That's why I, I always tell people this statement. People don't decide their future. People simply decide their habits. It is their habits that decide their future. That's why you see, I, I, I'm, I'm so blunt here. I need to be blunt here. I would be a prophet. Look at the habits that you have developed. This will inform whether or not your future is bright or bleak. Look into your habits that you have developed. How are they changing your life? And how are they ruining your lives? But by the way, do you know, you can actually tell if you are ruining your life right now. If you are honest enough, you can actually tell yourself whether or not you are going anywhere. No, 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 Give up unhealthy habits. What is an unhealthy habit? An unhealthy habit is a habit that's not taking you forward. An unhealthy habit is that habit that's keeping you in the same place. It's slaving you. It's enslaving you. If, do you know my habits are a one? Habit okay create a perish. That's why I couldn't want one on ye pasuri effortless. Or kupi and town air kumba. I will not go on the road to the ABC, but because system ya get the DNA, ya normalize of nyepa. So give up to my unhealthy habits. Right now, I see a number of people that are killing themselves because of habits. How you are eating, how you are doing X, Y, Z. My habits. I can one day do 160. My habits. You are driving on the phone, you are not even concentrating. Habits, dangerous habits. So I want you to learn to identify those unhealthy habits and learn them, give them up, introduce new, better, productive habits. I'm sad, man, bonerim. Kuto mo na ngangu ba ta hundred dollars. Waka wanda ano to tanga wote dera, because it's a habit. Ano fara to funga everything. You know that I eat it pere. Yeah. Hmm. Ah, but if you don't know, na kwa kwa ipo eleven thousand. I was really impressed. Um. Let's go to principle number three. Focus <laughs> for eleven thousand. Yes, okay. like, yeah, I was really impressed. <laughs> <laughs> Let's oh, go. Bless you. Prince. Oh man! Bless you. Oh wow! Zero <laughs> seven zero seven seven five. <laughs> Eight nine seven eight nine seven zero seven seven five eight nine seven eight nine seven. That's our WhatsApp number, and you can follow us. We are live streaming on Facebook at Star FM Zimbabwe. I have with me Arthur Marara in the studio today. The topic is give up. Papa got shot at level eleven. K up. The girl I just got pin number. They got sick. I just got my prunes and my potatoes. I was impressed. Let's go to prince number three. Okay. What you need to give up, Eric? I'm sick. <laughs> Give up a victim mentality. Come on. Guys, I need to help you. We are in Zimbabwe. I know some of you are watching us via Facebook. In Zimbabwe, the conditions are right for justifying Chirombe. I need to be this. 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 I need to be My excuses are perfect. To justify why we're not moving, but as you change and as you replace the movement, learn to give up a victim mindset where you're blaming everyone for your misery. Learn to take responsibility and to understand that if things are going to happen, it's going to take you. You see, I need to help boys and also as a Twitter. How has that changed your financial position? What pays are follow on or Jana by internet? How has that changed your financial position? What pays are going to as a result to get on by Facebook? How has that changed your life? Give up the victim mindset, and I want you to realize that you are responsible for your life. The greatest sign of failures is people thinking that the world owes them anything. As a matter of fact, the world does not owe you anything. Anything. Say that twice. Akuna muna nishkwere tichako. Akuna muna no owa iwe with the responsibility to grow you. You need to grow you. Give up the victim mindset. You can't be waking up every day pointing to people as the reason for your misery. You can't be waking up every day blaming a failed relationship. You can't be waking up every day blaming someone who cheated on you. You would thank God you discovered they were cheating you. Leave. If you can't leave, forgive. If you can't forgive, run. Give up. 
flee. Flee. Guarara na mbonji. Chiza. Do that to us give up the victim mindset because you see right now Murano could have five years I told about a heartbreak. Why they're not doing business? It was name. Ne ne make the business. Iwe, get to that level where you realize guys I can't undo the past. I can do one, two, three, four, five to correct. And this is what I need Zimbabweans to understand. Kutao is at no one's a data like we need a noise by by internet patch which thing data. The next thing here, Petro Aquila, Urungo Bena Fio China Matriba Zamzoro. Guys, let's take responsibility for our lives. Nagambo Stara is gonna watch Chema Zabu Noska Paku Chengwa Uchingo Chema and also the Chimwa Mahara. Pana Rita Marinu. Give up the victim mindset, guys. Some period of COVID, I pray is going to end. Kuni wangu watinga zimba period of COVID inoi. Wangu washingo natira. Wofunzwa no asukuru ten years from now. Makaite ya zinota i natira de after fugade gumbese. What natira been what? So coming through on WhatsApp, thank you so much for this program. Because of habits, I've just finished paying for my stand. I had to give up nice hair, nice food, nice clothes. But I'm so happy with the way Arthur, thank you so Bless much. You. Sure, habits kill or they build you. Oh, thank thank you. you so much for coming through with this one here. I worked in a certain organization for one whole year and there was no growth, no nothing. <laughs> I didn't know nothing. <laughs> so I decided to take a leap of faith and let go of the job. Now I'm in the fourth month of unemployment mm. and I think I'm nearing, oh no, depression. I don't regret letting go though, but I'm just not sure of the step that I need to yes, take I'll now. Give you, I'll give you the number at the end of the show. I wanted a conversation with you guys. You see, on Okoanda, they're stuck in certain positions, nice offices, air conditioned, and a progress. To one of the idea on the executive, the executive or a broker, we need sometimes to learn to take the leap. Real growth, my Judah, is when you realize I have no longer any other fallback position. I need to grow wings. I need to learn to fly. If I don't learn to fly, I'm going to go down. And once you make yourself vulnerable, you know, kufosa kufunga. Because of my past. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes we need to learn and force ourselves. We need to actually do not a crash program, a growth. It is critical. Crash program, a growth. And it's uncomfortable. It's uncomfortable, but let's do it. But watch that our Guys, I'm going to say, hey, we're talking about Brazil. I'm going to say, I'm Brazilian. But the record is, I want to watch that you're going to fake. The next thing we're going to say, Maria is going a fake product, living a fake life. And the next thing, the consequences are not fake, they're real. Ouch. It's real. You'd be shocked. So I don't tell you what I'm doing. Right now, where is Saga Fika Gucci? Which book I'm Zupuko? Especially because I'm not eating a gum bero. Chances are, I'm not eating a jidura. Because one of the Zunu give up certain things, my Judah. Go into your discomfort zone. You grow. What I want you to give up next is your excuses. I'll tell you one thing. Sometimes in life we've got the perfect conditions to explain why we're failing. Look into the history of unruly successful. They didn't ask the question why, they asked why not. So right now you want to be a homeowner, Ugu Roger. Don't ask why. Don't even ask how. Ask why not. Why not me? Why can't I do it? And I want us to begin to shift that. And we realize that we're strong when we identify our drive, our motivation, rather than to look for our excuses. And you're only going to be successful, my Judah, when your why becomes much stronger than your excuses. Once you realize, I need to do this, the next generation owes this. The next generation really depends on me being serious. It's not chinja. You rambongo zeli gazi Thompson only. Iva ne drive. Wasukuruang one for not go gongo karongeka. Was wrong or funnels your legs in my picture by Instagram? My high resolution is no go by slayer. Then what? <laughs> Give up your excuses. That's number four. Can we take it from the top? So, number one, I said we need to learn to give up our fear of discomfort. Mm -hmm. That's what I said. Mm -hmm. Number two, I want us to learn to embrace healthy habits and to unlearn. And healthy habits. Number three, 
I want us to get rid of a victim mindset. And number four, I want us to give up our excuses. And you know what? Right now, when I look at it, I don't know what you're saying is not correct, it's not practical. By the way, when Zimbabwe has shined my excuses. Right now, I know I must have my olive oil. But the employer and my name olive oil. In fact, they're actually demanding my olive oil. Why? Because they were ready to demand from them something better than just an explanation why they are not doing things. I, I, I want us to, to really, really get to this level where we stop justifying our excuses. And the next thing that I want us to do is let's learn to give up our distractions. Hmm. People easily get distracted. Easily get distracted. I said, I'm happily married. I'm going to romantic. You give up a healthy marriage just because someone is, no, I don't take any of them. Simple. So anything that's not helping you move forward, it's a distraction. And people easily get distracted. Simple. We have a relationship right now. Relationship, it's all right, you need potential. Easily distracted. Why? Why a guy who seems adventurous? Tall, dark, and handsome. Tall, dark, and handsome. Very handsome. Mm. The next thing also is we ask Munu is a distraction. And you're giving up 80% in search of 20. Okay, so what are you talking about? What are you talking about? What are you Distractions. Distractions, guys. If this is not helping you move forward, then easily being distracted. And what I want you to do is to learn to remove the things that are not helping you move forward. Streamline your wardrobe, for example. You also spend the 10 minutes with your game as a man. Organize your things. Okay. Maxine, I'm going to do this. Tomorrow I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. It's easier. You'll be shocked the amount of time it's wasted every morning when I think I'm not speaking again. Those ah, streamline. Limit the amount of distractions. Declutter your home. Momon, I'm to show you how to do this. Because of clutter. Declutter your home. The next thing, learn to downsize your social obligations. It's either overcommit. It's either I'm coming to do it or I'm not. And once you get to that level, you know, bad zero. So learn to eliminate your distractions. And once you do that, and once you learn to give up my distractions, unorarama. Some of you not see. When I we're not very smart in terms of responding my message. It's not every message I'm going to reply. Ipa po ipa po. Prioritize. We were high. We don't have some zero. But I know as we clear, no, no, this is connected to what I do. We don't know more clear. We don't know priority. What pays that? And you know, just on that one, I thank you for even bringing it up. When we say write into the studio and write to us, yeah. and maybe there's a question and maybe there's a giveaway that we're about to do. Yeah. As presenters, how we are akawanda my messages? I, I, you know, you get overwhelmed. True. And chidi easy for a presenter. And a producer, Kungo Nonga Muna Taura Kuti, my name is Ningi, a answer young good, Yakamere Academy. So true. How much and deep answer chat is Usna Udu, the Uti O and Diani. Can I Usna Uso Taura Uti O and Diani? How, you know, this is live, you know, I can't exactly say, okay, so what is your name and please send me and, your And that time, you will. Yeah, so, so thank you for bringing that one up. That's why I should send her a high message. Send for no tongue out for any other person, Diani. Number three, so when you're a streak, can now phone the real out and drink and drink and drink. Ah, ah. Let's learn to declutter. Let's learn to be organized. And by the way, all the things that we're talking about, they are not gifts. These are things that you can learn. These are disciplines that you can develop. And guess what? Success favors are not organized. And once you understand that success favors are not organized, wararama. Guys, time is up. Follow me on social media. It's at Athamara on all platforms. Uh, unlike Eric, I don't buy numbers out, but on one condition, so I die. Plus, Two six three, yeah. seven eight zero. Uh, another zero, five five one five two. Plus two six three seven eight double zero double five one five two. The father of our name, my dear, good to be back in the studio. Nenyo, the father of our and I just look. I, they, you are going to go through. Uh, the principles. This. No, 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 not the principles. But you are going to go through this live.
because I think there are some questions that you need to answer. Oh, oh, there are some very that. personal questions that you need to answer. There is someone who is asking for herself, and um, should I ask the question? Okay, Erica gives me a nod. I listen to her. Uh, someone is asking here, says, Nay, is Arthur Marara married? He is my favorite man in Zimbabwe. <laughs> I am asking for myself. And so there are people answering each other there. <laughs> I, I think I'd say I am. Don't say anything, you That's really good. Let, 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 let's it, leave it, it hanging. It's just like, who is my Judah dating? It's oh, things. my goodness. It's not towards the Siaga Whoa. Good. Yeah. <laughs> All right, give your number again, Arthur. Uh, 078 uh, 078 All right, so when I saw uh, the topic today, give up, I was yeah. like, I think Pane Taipo Yaitika, I actually was expecting yeah, I don't to give, give up. up, but there are some things that we just need Let's go. to learn. To let go. Thank you so much for coming to Star God FM. You. Sounding good all the time. It is ten o'clock. It's time for the news. This is Zim Papers Radio Broadcast. Right, guys. So, thank you so much for sparing time to be with us today. It's been really phenomenal spending time with you. Please, if you haven't liked and followed this iPhone page, I really want you to follow the page. You will be inspired. Great programming there. And thanks so much to my good friend Eric Andoro for producing a wonderful show, My Judah, as well. For anchoring and showing that we come up with a quality conversation. So let's do this next week again. Remember, follow me at Athamarara. As it's Athamarara, I do the broadcast also on my page every Monday. You will be inspired. See you next week. God bless you.